So what are some strategies for how you would get into a conversation um, saying you've done this preliminary work, mm -hmm. then what? Okay. Thank you uh, for that question. Um, well, let me just first say the strategy is not outside of the bounds of one's spirituality. I believe that a question or a conversation uh, about race and racism is within our understanding of who we are as spiritual be people, mm. as spiritual beings. So uh, I've written about um, my four R's as a strategy in other contexts, mm -hmm. such as uh, ministry with girls uh, that involves realization, uh, and then it involves uh, resistance, mm -hmm. resiliency, okay, and so, and ritual. But I've adopted, uh, or adapted, you say, uh, those ideas to think about how do you do this with um, uh, teenagers of both gender uh, in relationship to race and racism. I'm having a, a conversation about race and mm -hmm. racism. Mm -hmm. So um, the first one is realization. And realization is very much the whole idea of raising awareness. How do you raise awareness? How can you conscientize a person, using mm -hmm. Paulo Freire's term, right. conscientization around uh, what is going on here, mm -hmm. to ask why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to my friend? Uh, why is there so much um, prejudice in people doing things against people uh, other people of color yeah. just because of the color of their skin. That's the obvious question. But then realization even pushes us to think about uh, the subtle uh, mm -hmm. ways of racism and how it plays itself out, uh, particularly in policies mm -hmm. uh, that we think that that's just what the law is. But the laws are actually coming out of racism uh, mm -hmm. or their systemic ways of controlling people's lives uh, and rendering them as less human. So realization is the way that we get students into that conversation. It's one part of the strategy. And I propose that that's done primarily through using images. I talked about documentaries earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, I would not only use documentaries for raising issues uh, or getting young people to uh, become aware, Mm -hmm. of, of issues of systemic racism, but also a way of, um, uh, we could also use rather, uh, um, just images that come out of everyday life. I like commercials mm -hmm. because then you can see how uh, race, class, gender mm -hmm. kind of intersect uh, as you follow where the money is going and who's producing this for what mm -hmm. reason. Um, there are a number of, uh, of commercials out there that get us to think about that, and especially in, especially in a post-racial society where you have um, this understanding that now we don't have to be concerned about issues of race. We have a biracial president, and we're beyond race. Uh, there's no concern to be asking these types of questions, mm -hmm. but yet there is a concern. So you can actually use images that supposedly are um, signs of being in a colorblind society mm -hmm. to help young people raise questions and begin to become aware of some of the systemic issues that have shaped policies that come out of a racist ideology. 